Ooh, what's up, Internet? Attack Slug back once again with part 11 of my Let's Play of WWE 2K15, My Career, Ebenezer's Journey. Uh, we're at 222.42, we're gonna hit X, we're gonna load up, we're gonna see where we're at. Uh, when we last left the story, we had added a manager in AJ Lee, who is now Ebenezer's manager, and we had a hell of a match against Ray Rich, but who did he ever beat? Like, why did he get a title shot? Anyway, hopefully... We're going to go fight some actual superstars uh, in this episode. We are still on Superstars, the TV show that I don't watch. Who watches? But here we are. Uh, apparently our champion is Daniel Bryan because he defended against John Cena and Night of Champions. Uh, we have 28,000 followers on social media. We're going to hit X. We're going to see what the next event is. Um, and Vicky Guerrero doesn't have anything for me this week. Now I feel like an actual WWE superstar. Oh, we're sorry. Creator doesn't have anything for you. Uh, use this opportunity to fine-tune your skills. So, I can fight. I can defend against Rusev. I can have a dark match against Jack Swagger. Or I can have a tune-up match against Damian Sandow. Alright, so that's a title defense. Um, you get VC bonus, but I will get stripped of the title for not defending it. Um, and the tune-up match, I'll get a bonus in social media, but I'll get stripped of the title for not defending it. Wait, that's a, that's a dumb choice. Like, defend your title, or, or give, give up your title, get stripped, get stripped of your title for not defending it by, like, why would you even give me that choice? I'm gonna defend, defend my title, that's, that's fucking stupid. So, let me know if there's a better reason to actually not have... Oh, I'll turn off the entrance here. If, if, there's, if there's a reason to, to take one of those matches and give up my NXT championship, let me know, because uh, as the game presents it, that looks like a dumb choice. Like, obviously, you want to keep being a champion. Um, and uh, there we are. Ebenezer with his manager, AJ, because that's always really funny. And we're fighting Rusev. Last time we fought Rusev, he got about 16 DDTs. Um... And it was Eat, Sleep, DDT, Repeat. So, we will see if he is any better this time. If he puts up more of a fight. If he puts up as, as much of a fight as Ray Rich, who just would not go down. Uh, if you haven't watched that episode, uh, go watch it. Because that was unreal for a guy that should be a jobber. Who was just, like, doing his best Super, super Cena impression. Too fast. How is it too fast when I hit the thing when I, as soon as I saw it, I hit it? Like, I wasn't hitting it before I saw it. I don't know. Anyway. Now, if I lose the belt in this match, like, how does that impact the story? Does it branch the story? Does it say, no, you gotta replay this match? Like, I'm really curious as to how that, they actually handle that kind of career stuff. Because obviously the goal is... Winning the, not stamina, winning the belt at, you know, Wrestlemania, or whatever. Pretty sure I reversed that, but it gave me two prompts for it for some ungodly reason. And I got the first prompt and didn't get the second, so, you know, whatever. That one was too late. Damn it, Rusev. Whoa! Okay. Rusev is just not having any of this. There we go. Jacked his jaw. Oh, come on now. I'm still whipping my ass here. I might have to, I might have to intentionally get the, the, dis disqualified if I'm not going to win this. Come on now. I hate that. I get the reversal. He pushes him away. And then immediately I don't have any time to actually react to it. And Rusev is just like... Holy shit. Fuck, man. How am I already in the red? Like, how am I already in the red? How am I already dead? Why is Rusev just totally just great? I need to get out of this ring. I need to get out of this ring. You are not taking my prestigious NXT Championship, Rusev. Oh, 
is the champion thinking about getting this match thrown out? Yes. Yes, I am. Oh, no. Not like this. Not like this. Disqualification. Oh, no, it wasn't me. I didn't do it. So now what happens? <laughs> now what happens? I'm gonna, I, that, that was still a two and a half star match somehow. I still got SP. I still got VC. That's kind of funny. I only manage face superstars. If you want to become a commander, you have to become a face again. Uh, we've already lost AJ Lee. Oh no. Nice match out there. That's... Alright game, you are, you are starting to win me over. That's kind of funny. Well, that was a uh, abject d disaster. Let us see what other shenanigans we can get up to here. Um, Alright, so all that face momentum I had all that gone I am immediately a heel just immediately um that's interesting so let's actually go look at our character here and see if we can spend some points on something um tributes I got a thousand how do we get a thousand hmm it's interesting so someone said I, I they wanted to, me to do the um the king of swing and uh also the mouthpiece. So, I'm gonna do mouthpiece, because I have enough for that. Um, and then I'm gonna equip mouthpiece. But I don't know that I'm gonna have enough to do King of Swing, I don't think. Oh no, I can totally do it. It's uh, 18,000 VC. Uh, skill requires one finisher and at least 50% of, uh, of a single bar of stamina. So yeah, sure, we'll spend VC on that because why not? Um, whether or not we'll actually get to use it uh, remains to be seen. But I will certainly, certainly take it. Spend that VC. I want, so I wonder if that means I can just go and hire a heal manager. Not, not, not that I can really afford... Well, yeah, I, I guess I could afford one. Um, so, I don't know. Is Ricardo... That's the thing. Is, is Ricardo face or heal in this game? Like, which version of, of Alberto Del Rio is that Ricardo for? I would assume heal. So, let's, let's buy Ricardo because, you know, why not? Um, and then we'll go equip him. And, uh, customize, manager, nope, Ricardo's a face, that was, that, that was a waste of, that was a waste of our money, um, but the Del Rio in this game's a heel, so, stupid, 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 I am still NXT champion, so, whatever, um, Let's go see what the next event is. The more you win, the more I'll put you on a pay-per-view. Uh-huh. Are you willing to defend your title against Sami Zayn? Or will you give it up? Um, Tommy Wall. The return of Tommy Wall. That's, that's really funny. I feel like they want me to lose the belt. I feel like that Rusev thing was so vicious that they want me to lose the belt. So you know what? We're going to be a fighting champion, we're going to defend, and if we lose, we're going to lose. Um, so, I take back what I said in asking for advice, because we're, we're going to find out right now. So, those of you who are still watching, thank you for, for the fact that, that, that you are still watching. Um, so, we're going to see how this goes here. We're going to use our normal approach to matches, and we'll see if we can beat uh, the up-and-comer Sami Zayn. NXT superstar. What a body shot. Hooligans looking really good here. So he reversed it. Hit Sami Zayn with the reversal. I reverse that. Get ready. Hooligan with a great counter. Let's see how much damage we can do here. Because that Rusev match was just ridiculous. Like, 100% ridiculous. Like, he was doing way more damage with less moves to me than I've seen happen thus far. Now, granted, 
my rating is, you know, 72. And that'll make sense from main event superstars, but you gotta understand, when this game came out, Rusev was still in NXT. He was not, you know, he's not part of the main roster, so therefore his ranking should not be as high as the main roster. You missed your talk there, Sami Zayn. That was, uh, oh god. Too fast. Oh, here comes, here, here comes the standing moonsaults. And the educated feet comments, because of course, too, fuck you too late. He's going to screw up whatever he was doing there, and I'm going to reverse the next move, because he was indecisive. Never be indecisive with your with your wrestling. Always be... Always know what you're doing and where you're going. And... Side Russian leg sweep. I didn't even... Alright, that time, I didn't even hit the button, and it said too fast. Like, I literally didn't hit the button. So, this game, perhaps not the most polished piece of software in the world. Uh, who would have thought? Center of the ring. DDT. Running out of stamina here, which is not. Center of the ring. DDT. Trying to get under his opponent's skin with this one. Yeah, and of course, you know, I've been showboating, so. I really wish I could spend some points to increase uh, the speed of my punches, I guess is kind of my concern at the moment, because they're not very good. They're not very fast. And so unless I'm really leading in those punches. Oh, come on, I, I hit it that time. It didn't say too fast, it didn't say too late, it just didn't say anything. And... That's crap. That's crap. And how am I already... Like, I'm doing worse than him, and I've done way more big moves to him than he did to me. So... Riddle me that, Batman. Riddle me that. Have a signature. Back of your neck. You know what this is. This is the F5. And if he kicks out of this, which he will because he's a fucking rope break. So that part of it taking too much time to get to him, which means he's going to kick out. See? I told you. Such a slow punch. Big wiggle. Norman Smiley. Fucking rope break. It's the worst. You know, I put points in his stamina regen and it still seems like- Oh, ref bump! Nope, too fast. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. I'm not sure how I got out of that one. But man, Sami Zayn's Probably gonna beat me here. Where is he taking me? Out of the ring? What is he doing? Why would you knock me out of the ring? This is a t you can't win the match. Great. On to the. Oh, good. I'm dead. He killed me. That's it. He's gotta be dead. Have a DT yourself, bum. El Generico. Okay. Regain some stamina here. You <laughs> fucking count it out. Be funny. Boom. In. And this has gotta be it. One count? Really? He's that far in the red? I I get a one count. Great. Great. This is going to go real great. That was a bridge. Don't think so. Grab 
Grapple! Well, I'm getting better at the reversals. I will give the game that much. Um, I'm not as completely terrible as I was. So, that's, you know, an improvement for having played this for 11 episodes now. But... I feel like I need to go do some house shows and just get my SP up here because uh, this is just going real bad for me. Just the the, the, the more I play, the farther I get, uh, the more the game is just getting my ass whipped over and over again. Have a suplex. Yes, he can. <sighs> okay, okay. Slow and steady wins the race. Big body slam. Punch him in the head. Simple and effective. Nope. That's okay. As soon as he gets up, it's time for the signature. Probably gonna be a rope break. And it's not. We got it. Three. That was a close match. I've successfully defended my. Or I've successfully had Ebenezer defend his NXT title somehow and possibly in a very close match. I am still your NXT World Heavyweight Champion. All right, that that was another close, close fight, and we're gonna wrap it up, up this video here. We're gonna see what uh, Vicky Guerrero has to say, and then um, we'll see you tomorrow. Instant classic, four and a half stars. Uh, so is that gonna push me back into the face? Um, yeah, I'll get in touch with you soon. Yeah, I'm sure you will, Vicky. I'm sure you will. Um. So is that putting back in face territory, or am I still a heel? Like, I spent money on those damn managers, and if I can't use them, that's kind of garbage. Um, no, I'm still, I'm even more heel now. Like, how do you, alright, so, leave it in the comments. Now that I've become more heel, how do I go back to being face? Or, what manager should I buy, I guess, as a heel? So, that's gonna do it for this episode of uh, WWE 2K15. My career, let's play Ebenezer's Journey. Uh, once again, uh, I am a tax slug, and I will see you next time right here on this channel. And I'm out!